Y'all know what it is. We back. Got another episode of Regular Jazz Guest List. I'm, I'm I'm here with a special guest this week, all the way from the West Coast. Yes, sir. Cali, Bay Area. We got discreet in the motherfucking building. Let's get it. What up, man? Shit. Finally got you in Virginia, man. How do I, I feel? Some good times. <laughs> back when I was a kid, so shit, come back, it's cool. <laughs> Being able to be old enough to do shit. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, that shit suck when you travel and you come and, like, you go mm-hmm. and you got to stay at the house with the other kids. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's more, yeah, that too, but I was talking to them about, like, shit, we was walking the beachfront. Yeah. Being a kid, it felt like that. Awkward. I don't oh, yeah, yeah. Everybody grown. Now you grown, you step in the bar real quick. See what's in there. I'm I mean? with him. I saw him like, <laughs> You cool, already know. Man. Yes, sir. But yeah, man, that's good, though. So uh, while you was out here, I seen you, uh, you was at the Virginia Beach Carnival. Mm-hmm. On the, like, how was that experience? That was dope. That was dope. It was, it was God's plan. Because ain't no yeah. way I just randomly come out here <laughs> for a family vacation and I see opportunity and now I'm on biggest stage i ever did this flower that's yeah god's plan it's for the flex like nigga i I did it because i'm that nigga (laughs) yeah i mean shit they let me up there because i'm that nigga and it did what it did because of that but yeah the opportunity came i'll ask somebody say go see if you get on that stage and i laughed it off for a minute then i started trying to remind myself nah this ain't no ain't nothing yeah this is a whole different feel me so let's go really make this shit happen like yeah crowd was moving yeah seen some joints uh throwing that thing in it i mean it was cool twerking and shit uh uh-huh and then uh-huh. Carnival, like, and the crazy thing is, this is um, this is Virginia's first ever one. That's what they said. Yeah, this is the first ever one. So you know, they so usually go to like there. Trinidad, of course, Toronto, mm-hmm. like different mm-hmm. places. So they seem like they really had to put together though. That's why I'm like, it for yeah. sure, is a big thing. Cause I mean, this is a was, big reggae fest. Like, yeah, they didn't put damn the right. Whole, you feel me? So I'm damn like, right. they did their thing and out then you, there. You and on be vacation a, and you get to go yeah, up to there be and rock that first, shit real quick and do it. Yeah, so you were part of history, Loki. You hear me? I saw. I come back there like, I see that nigga on the yeah. first one. Like, yeah. Like, and the crazy like, shit, you got to do it, like, home. Mm-hmm. Kind of. I mean, I know Cali's home. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But, like. We're all my, my, my From your ancestry from home. You yeah, yeah. So, so. That's why it's cool. Like, so it's. You know what I mean? That's it's that's cool. definitely dope to even mm-hmm. fathom. Because, like you said, in the middle, you weren't even thinking about. Nah. But when work calls. Yeah. Yeah, you, exactly. And I was feeling sick the whole trip right yeah. before that. So, I'm over there thinking to myself the day of, like, or the day before. I gotta get this. Gotta get this gone. I gotta get all this feeling out. <laughs> yeah. I gotta get on that thing. I gotta do with it. So yeah, it was cool. It was yeah. for sure cool. So that that sickness went away once you once you yeah. got. I ain't even thinking about. It. I'm <laughs> on that stage. I go. couldn't think of no whatever I was feeling. Nose was cool. I was breathing. <laughs> got a little winded up there, but it's yeah. no humidity. So hey man, hey when you doing the shit like that, you got to move around a lot. So you was up to. there jumping and shit. So. <laughs> like, and I'm not used to being active. Mobile, you yeah. know, I'm more of like I stagnant. I'm walking. I'm chilling. Yeah, you know, it felt performing. good though, right? Yeah, for sure. It always felt good, but that felt different. I'll yeah. say that. It you might incorporate that more. I got to. You, I mean, you got a couple upbeat joints that you can do mm-hmm. those too. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So I know I'm trying to. I'm I'm trying to re-diverse the, cat- the catalog. Yeah, I do a lot of uh a lot of downbeat shit. You know, yeah. or like in your feelings type shit or not, yeah. not feelings, but like what you feeling type shit. Yeah, yeah, know? for so sure. I want to get back on the uh, upbeat party type shit. Yeah. Hey man, duality is cool. Mm-hmm. Like you, to be able to do both is 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 good though. Like it's just versatility. You right, know what I'm saying? You get right. that versatility going, you really can open up your your artistic expression For however sure. you want to. You know what For I'm saying? Sure. You might fuck around and get a feeling song on some upbeat shit. Yeah. Like nah, you might just feel definitely. it that way. Them you know be what I'm saying? That really take off though. Yeah. Because you got what's that little baby shit? I'm tired of being tired of being tired. Like, yeah. Man, he talking, but he talking about depressing the whole song. But niggas is dancing. Niggas that just dancing. Emotionally scarred. Yeah. So I hear you. Them so, one of the ones. So yeah. So I mean. So that's good though. So like, because you're not scared to be vulnerable. Like nah. you got a couple joints that's like really personal, really deep to you I'll, and. Nah, okay. To is an it, extent, though. I mean, not maybe not like personal. Like, so that was kind of part of the question. So, is it like it's just is it just like your artistic expression? Like, mm-hmm. you just feel it's, this way, but not because of nobody. But you just you just can channel that. Right, right. Yeah, I'll say for sure I can yeah. channel it because a lot of times I I will make a song, and then I get questioned about it like. I made you feel this way Like somebody could yeah. Like I, I made you Like nah but This a pocket you going You know Yeah If I felt this way Six years ago But I I got this beat I got this thought Yeah of my head. And this shit might have Brought this memory back And yeah. now it's like Yo oh And that memory exactly. Might spark the creativity exactly. And you going And I be loving that Cause that's a real If when you could do that That's how you yeah. know You really like 
love this shit. Like yeah. you can make anything out of anything. That's for it. Sure. Um, but I was I was thinking more so like when I said uh to an extent, like I'm not scared to put it out. Yeah. But I kind of don't put it out because yeah, yeah, I'll be yeah. like, I don't know if this one ready or if I yeah. want them to hear this yet. So like I'll hold it for those reasons. I'll write yeah. every day, but like But that's the thing though. So yeah. with so with that, so I don't know how often you watching like different people's shit, but mm-hmm. like most artists, the songs that they hated the most, or not even hated, or the song that they never wanted to put out, mm-hmm. like I ain't this ain't the one, that's usually that one that go. That's what's crazy, buddy. Yeah. I, I believe it. That's and usually the one the that go. But I'm still like, but I, well, my problem, I think, too, for a long time was I do want to have those, like, mm-hmm. you know, keep that in mind. But I'm also like, I think it's a certain level you got to be at for this song. You feel yeah, me? Because if I drop this part, I feel like this is this is the one. I love yeah. this. I don't want it to go the crazy. Timing is, timing is everything. Yeah, and time if I don't got everything. no platform, no listeners, I'm going to drop it to, to two yeah. people and it ain't going to go nowhere. But yeah, sometimes you never know because when that nigga, when Bryce Tiller dropped Don't, he yeah. just dropped it. He wasn't as big as he was, but that shit's like... Yeah, Muscle, I mean certain Muscle, songs. Yeah. I mean, this is probably not the best analogy, but like, look at the Chris Brown joint that mm-hmm. like just hit the radio, but that was on like two albums ago. Uh, uh, you talking about what that one that they dancing to? Yeah, the, the, the one that yeah. yeah. Know what I'm saying so. I'm not a singer, so I was about to do this shit, yeah. but I ain't about to look crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, it's all good. I know what you are talking about though for sure. Yeah, it's all a, but that was like two albums ago. Yeah. But you know, so like it do take time to pick you, up. You you never know like which. Cause he done had hits from other albums, be, and then that shit came back. Everybody thought it was a new song. So, like, don't be scared because it ain't you know taking right, off right, right then. Cause you might have a song that boom, and they like, yo, let me see what else he got. Right, oh, this, right, oh right. shit! You right though, cause I got a song. It's a little Spanish one I dropped uh, mm-hmm. a minute ago called Umanuto. Like I kept it cool, cause I, I I dropped it. You know, I drop a lot of shit back to back. And don't really think yeah. about it. That one was more a song. Like, it was cool. It ain't do nothing at the moment, so I don't really think about it. But I had checked my stats probably like a couple years later. I got like over five hundred Shazams of the song yeah. itself, so, plus all the plays. I'm like, he's just trying to hear this. Somebody like, checking for it. Yeah, and you ain't even time. you not even thinking about exactly. it. But somebody checking for it. So exactly. That's why, I like, I mean, I, I know certain times um, when you get into that artistic mode, it's like I don't, mm, I don't want to drive it because. It ain't ready yet. Right. Like, damn, it's like some people's like, yo, it's missing something mm-hmm. or whatever the case may be. Mm-hmm. And sometimes they might sit on a record for five, six years. Like Hove and Justin Timberlake sat on um The Holy Grail thing. Yeah, for like six years before he dropped it. I ain't know that. Yeah. I really didn't know that. And that song yeah. go crazy. He the, like crazy. he sat on the court and the Frank Ocean shit. Like uh-huh. uh Oceans, they sat on that one for a minute. Wow. Um so I mean, he, like so every like people do that shit and then but like you said it's timing so it might be a record you sitting on you might meet an artist down the line mm-hmm. and you might have not even thought about this song no more like man you meet this artist like yo I got a song I can put this motherfucker on like oh she sang oh yeah boop. right right I can sonically hear this you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying so shit I could go that way in if you get in that point where you like I don't want this song I've been having this for so long but I know somebody who can yeah. do it pass him in that song it'll blow up yeah. now you got producer you, you writing got credits, that writing credit shit. yeah so <laughs> i'll be thinking about that too I, I i really know what way i want to take it but there's so many ways to take yeah. it yeah so but that's that's the beautiful thing about art though like mm-hmm. nobody actually gets to tell the artist what they art is so right right when you ain't ready if the if the mona lisa if i ain't get the bitch contour on her nose right yeah. i'm not gonna drop the painting so it's the, it's the same so and then when they like do that shit yeah. years long, it's, it's history. And then it become so, what it become, and that's all it takes is you know, patience. Get now it's just it. it's just that. Mm-hmm. So um, you performed uh, recently. I heard at a prison. Yeah, like that's crazy. Yeah. Like how did how did that like come about? Like, and and of course, how was that experience? But I want to know um, how that came about first. Well, the, yeah, San Quentin. Biggest month, you know, San Quentin's in movies. Nigga, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's like a level four max prison. Like, that's yeah. San Quentin. So, you for me to have that opportunity was crazy. But um, my cousin, she worked at the prison. Okay. Like, right under the warden and whatnot. So, she kind of, like, told my mom, I got this um, thing coming up. A little uh, whatever you want to see if you want to come do it. Mm-hmm. And when my mom told me, I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, it just sounds How crazy. How she come, though? Did she like, yo, you want to go to prison? Nah, she <laughs> called. She t- it was a, um. You want to go? <laughs> I can't remember. She texted me or called me. I don't know. My reaction was the same. I was like, Psh. like, well, what you mean? She got an event at a prison. I'm like, yeah. yeah. She like, okay. Because at first it was, I was going to work out there as some, uh, trying to get some type of thing. Because she worked there. So that's a cool lot. Get a stage yeah, yeah, job. Yeah, for you sure. Know? Absolutely. And I get my foot in the stage door. I go anywhere. So I was trying to yeah. do that first. And then she was helping me with the little applications and whatnot. But. 
then this came about. So yeah. I really didn't know what she was talking about. She was yeah. talking a job or some other stuff. Cause yeah. I'm like, this shit sound crazy. <laughs> I ain't ever heard of no shit like that. So, but yeah, so I, uh, she ended up passing me the info to the lady running it or whatever. Mm-hmm. So I, I talked to her. She was like, oh, it's good. Let's get all this information. Woo-woo. So that was about like a month and a half in or before it started. So after yeah. we got closer, she started giving me the info. Um, Crunch time was coming. I ain't gonna lie. I almost didn't do it because I was so, I had hella shit going on. So I yeah. kept pushing it off. All the shit she needed from me, like, let me get this back at this time, at this time. Yeah. Like, I was like three weeks past the day, the deadlines <laughs> and shit. So oh, yeah, because you got to go through like clearances and yeah, all kind of shit because you're going in the year. Everybody, I'm getting they socials. Got to make sure you yeah, ain't on the bro. gang test, like all that shit. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I get it, but it was a nigga I had asked to come. He was like, you need my social. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't giving you my so I'm like it's for the thing though. He like I'm not giving you my soul. That nigga didn't go. Yeah. Like he was so scared about what I was asking. Like, but they they serious. They need to make sure you good where you yeah. coming to. So it um fast forward a little bit, I got all that shit in and we got there. They said it was like a ten AM event or whatnot, so we mm-hmm. trying to get there a little early. And we get there at like nine. Uh, we get all checked in and shit, and we start riding down. We ride straight to the yard, and I'm like, yeah. I'm looking for the cutoff, like, yeah. where, where they got to set at. Oh, I mean, we keep going. I'm like, all right, bet. Niggas push <laughs> it us was on in the yard. yard. <laughs> in the yard. Yeah. Oh. I can shake the inmate hand. And I'm oh, like, shit. riding by, like, all right, we going straight down there. So we do it. They got the little section right there for the stage. It's right in front. You know, the inmates and shit, they sitting right in cool. Like, it's yeah. cool because, you know, it's a, it's a the day of peace event. So yeah, I yeah, know yeah. it ain't no bullshit. Maybe gonna yeah, you can't up. fuck up the day. Even even if you in a bing, you can't fuck up the day of peace of it. We here to help you niggas. Like you yeah. get some some tranquil. So I'm like yeah, but it was cool though. But only thing I didn't really fuck with about it was the you feel me like they kind of sped it up. I'm yeah. thinking it's a 10 a.m. event, so I get there at 9 15. Like come on, gotta get you on stage. And yeah, mind you, I'm only down right now with my cousin. The yeah. rest of my people are still on the other car trying to come down. So like, like you wait, still wait, gotta hold get hold your on. shit set up and you everything. Me, like, of course, at least my people here first. But yeah. they're like no, we gotta get you on. So. They bring me up, pops and them is coming down while yeah. I'm on stage. I'm like, all right, whatever, I got to do my thing. No, I can't yeah. let that shit affect what I'm doing. So I start doing it, and then uh, the show itself was cool. I'm yeah. not going to knock that. People, it just, people who put it on, it was a little fucked up how they yeah. expedited it and shit. And then, like, my song's a little bit out of order and whatnot. But yeah. I'm here for the people, feel me? So I'm yeah. going to make the show. I'm you going to improvise and you going to make that shit rock? Yeah, easy, every yeah. time. That's why I'm like, I'm not even going to show that it's a little fucked up. I'm just yeah. going to rock with it. They was rocking with it. I had an uh, old head in the crowd. He was, I mean, it's not energy, bro. I was, I, so it was cool. I, mean, I could see niggas mom in their head left and right. So it was a dope-ass event, though. Yeah. For sure, a dope shit, event. that's what's up. Yeah, and I Hell had to walk yeah. around and talk to all the people, like, shake hands, see all the artwork and shit. Like, like it's cool. You feel yeah. me? Like, it's it's regular though. They've yeah. been in here locked up, but they still you feel me regular yeah. niggas at the end of the day. So Damn right. It was cool. Uh, some of the most talented niggas you ever gonna meet or never gonna meet in some people's circumstances is in that prison. Easy. Every time. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a nigga that's up there that's better than LeBron. Easy. That'll never get to show it, but Easy. you Easy know over there. Yeah, it's a nigga in Easy. there that can probably rap better than Drake, Jay Z, like Kendrick, all them niggas rode in one, but he never gonna yeah. be able to yeah. you know, so it's crazy you said that though when you just brought out this niggas rapping like Drake, Jay Z, because when I was on stage, right, they told me not to have so much cussing and shit mm-hmm. beforehand. So I'm like, okay. I asked her, like, what you mean by that? Because I, I, I'm i real prolific. So I was yeah, like, what yeah. you mean by that? She like, just, I know how niggas like to say fucking dick. Well, she didn't say niggas, but people like to say <laughs> fuck this, that, and the third. So, okay, I'll try to keep that shit minimal. So I get yeah. on there, and I forget everything she didn't tell me. So, nigga, first song, I'm up there, this, that, that, Oh, you put the NWA on them? I did everything, bro. <laughs> and not even thinking it. As I'm halfway through, I start thinking, oh, shit, she oh, right not- there. But she, she, you feel me? She yeah. her head too, so she ain't tripping. She probably looked around the crowd and was like, "All right, it's they, cool. They, they so good. Like, they yeah." <laughs> but when I get off, I'm talking to one of uh, the inmates in there. Oh, hey, he talking about something. Yeah, I done seen like five of these events before. Yeah, ain't never, ain't nobody ever came up there cussing. I said, I seen that. I see who up there cussing. He said they didn't had uh, J Cole and that motherfucker. They didn't had a couple other artists. Them niggas didn't even cuss when they saw. Oh yeah. Them. So he like. You being the first one to ever get up there and start cussing, I see who this is. So I'm like, damn, I made history there too. Like, that shit crazy. You should have told the old head, looked him in his eye and said, because I'm that nigga. And, yeah. just, and walked yeah. off smooth. Like, just walked off smooth just on like, him. that's it. <laughs> but nah, I was, I took that like, ooh. But she said, I'm happy you came. I wish we can get you back. So I'm like, damn, I might have just opened up doors for new other rappers. And yeah. Shit, and yeah, and they different. might, now they see that words ain't, you Yeah, know. you feel me? Like, it ain't that deep. It just I'm out words, here speaking man. to the people and they rock with me. So that's it. Nah, but that was cool. 
Yeah. Now that's that shit trash though. Like when you performing and they got your shit all fucked up out of order and you got your set perfected the way exactly. you want it and you know how that shit is, you know, boom, three minutes into this song, mm-hmm. we gonna blend. Like, and then you get there and it's like, oh, what the fuck? Yeah. Like this ain't the transition. Yeah. Like, yeah, that shit. It would have been so much worse though, because before that, I was talking to Pops and shit and he was telling me how I should get dancers. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Corey got the whole set. Yeah. So nigga, if I would have had dancers song by song, oh yeah, set, and and it's and they all fucking that up. They would now they got to like, figure out, and they up there looking exactly. crazy. Yeah, money paid to them, time wasted. They yeah. embarrassed. Like, they won't gonna let you bring no dancers in that fucking jail so? though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, you probably right. Mind you, I only had a ten people clearance list, so you probably right. I probably couldn't get. They probably would have been up there, cause I mean, depending on what they was wearing, but yeah, for sure, you for definitely sure. would have had, had them out there. Dress code, You'd have had them out there in the carnival. <laughs> in the they, nah. Yeah, yeah, they would have been up there a little shy, a little shy. These niggas yeah, you would have had to do it that way. Yeah. Otherwise, them, they would it would have been a riot in that motherfucker. <laughs> I would have had the whole yard up there though. Yeah, you gotta think some of them niggas ain't seen no ass cheeks in like fifteen years. That's why I was a little. <laughs> that's why I look when I said they yeah. had us right in the middle, front center. I had my family there, like scissors, and I'm like, you got yeah. these niggas right around, like circling. I'm like a little uncomfortable, but yeah. it is what it is. You feel me? We kept it cool, but yeah, for sure, <laughs> for sure. You won't even enjoying this shit. You looking around the whole time. They walked around. I stood with the, I stood with the girls. Yeah, hey, I, I, I should, though. That's why I, I understood. But he he is a big-ass security-ass nigga, though. So, <laughs> so it's cool. The inmates was looking like, nah, that nigga our size. I'm not, I'm not yeah, fucking with that nah. nigga. <laughs> <laughs> These niggas my size. Like. I'm a, I'm a show <laughs> oh, for sure. <laughs> it's 20,000 of these niggas in here. No, you're not fighting 500 niggas, yeah. bro. <laughs> yeah. A couple of niggas, you can hold them off, but for 500 sure. niggas, niggas, nah. Rushing, <laughs> nah, for sure, for sure. So, um, what's what's better for you? Like, what are you, what, what are you more in your bag at? Creating the music or performing it? Like, which one? Creating for sure. Creating. I'm still. I'm still trying to get my footwork with the performing. Okay. Um, cause I could create for. I've been. I'm shit. Been creating for like seven years. Yeah. So I, I got my stamp in that part. Yeah. Like I developed my sound. I like I go in the booth. Like I don't. I don't write no more. So like I get yeah. in there and it's easy to just give me. The hardest part is picking the beat. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you. I sit there at the computer for like 30 minutes trying to find a beat. Nodding off hella shit, getting sleepy. Mm-hmm. And that be fucking me up. But once I get that one, once it click, it's over. It's like over. now you up at 4 in the morning and you thinking it's 11 p.m. You know what I'm saying? Tired like, as hell. But once, you, once it comes, you, you can't you don't, stop. Because you don't want to stop it. Exactly. Because you're not going to wake up in that same mode. Exactly. Like, That's why I be like, rare. I got to push through this shit yeah. for sure. But nah, creating it. <laughs> It's it's it feel different. Okay. And then when I hear it back, that's when it really hit. Cause writing it, I be feeling like all oh, cool. Like oh, I just that shit go crazy. I just yeah. said that shit. Like, I be like, what I just say. But during the process of listening afterwards, you feeling it. You yeah. feel like okay, it's really. And then what I was you feeling. can like throw shit in. Like right, yeah. I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna throw a bridge right here. Exactly. I can do this. Exactly. Oh so shit! It's... Hold on. You know what? She might sound good on. Let me call her. Hey, right. Boom, you right. Know, so. Right. Yeah. But performing too is a beautiful thing because it's just. Not even like, cause I ain't at the point where I got niggas bobbing the head, to yeah. reciting every lyric. Like, yeah. when you get there, I'm sure it feel a whole lot different. But even getting up there and being able to be like in your zone, like your yeah. mode, cause nigga, this is what you, you want to do. When you see the crowd at least reacting, yeah. like you like, oh shit, I got something. Yeah, yeah, cause they might not be nodding their head all the time, or they might not be yeah. saying the lyrics, cause they don't know it. But if you got all eyes on you, niggas, yeah. cause niggas be on their phone like this. Yeah, if niggas on their phone, niggas at the. You see everybody at the bar and yeah, shit. The back like, turn, you know, then it's different. It's yeah. different. Like they really not paying no mind. But I ain't never had a show where niggas wasn't staring. Yeah, you feel me? So, so that's so, that's good though. Exactly. That's why I'm like, hey, let's attention. Do. So I always say this shit. Rapping and comedy is the two hardest professions right. that's that you don't get paid for right. up front. Mm-hmm. Especially when you go to these open mics and shit like that. Um. But even if it ain't open mic, you might get booked for some shit. Like, if you open it for somebody, like, all that kind of shit. Yeah. Because they came to see who they came to see. For sure. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, comedy is the same way because it's mm-hmm. like, I got to go in a room full of motherfuckers. I don't know what they find funny, and I got to make them laugh. Exactly. With music, is the same thing. I got to go in a room full of motherfuckers. I don't know what's in their motherfucking playlist every uh-huh. day, but I got to make them fuck with me. Exactly. So, and then sometimes people go to them shits. Intent with the intent to not fuck with nobody that get on stage too. Like you got those people, and I don't know why they go, but 
They bored. That's just their thing. That's their job. Yeah. They want to be the critic. Yeah. You know I mean? so I, or they'll go, you know, with one person. Exactly. And that one person might not even be the, you know. Yeah. But everybody else there, like, they, they heckling them and mm-hmm. all that kind of corny shit, though, so. Nah, yeah, we don't fuck with that. But, <laughs> nah, it, it you just got to go out with your mindset like, this yeah. is me. You feel me? Like, because even at the reggae thing I just did, like, yeah. nigga, it's a reggae fest. I'm not a reggae artist. I'm yeah. out here rapping straight. I might throw some singing in there a yeah. little bit, but, nigga, there's no reggae. But I had a couple songs with an upbeat yeah. dance vibe to it. So I tried to keep that as the forefront of mm-hmm. my set so, like, I could keep at least a little on pace. But, nigga, my first song, it's, it's some West Coast shit. Like, we bouncing. Yeah. So I'm, like, I'm trying to make sure they feeling it because... I mean, they niggas. They, yeah, that's the yeah, crowd. Yeah, yeah. Like, they in there, niggas. The, the music gonna move them. Exactly. Yeah, for sure. But the uh, playlist and set is reggae, so I'm, I'm I'm a little unsure about that part. But yeah. they was cool. They was vibing with it, so that made me a little more comfortable going with the rest of my shit. Um, so, I, yeah, I for sure. You gotta you don't know who you in front of, but it's, it's yeah. you. It's your and that's, thing. That was another thing I was gonna say before we switch uh, questions. But, mm-hmm. yeah, you never know who in the crowd. Facts. Because, like, there's been times um, that people have – Went and did, um, I said like an open mic. Mm-hmm. Maybe not even a showcase or no shit they getting paid for. They ain't opening for nobody. They might go to an open mic and there's a fucking a and just sitting in there. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Nobody knows this person is an a and or nothing. Like, he he really just in there to just Chilling. see what's going on. Yeah. Low profile. And it might be him and ten other people. Right. And five of them might fucking around just be there because the drinks is cheap. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? You don't, you know. That one nigga, he in there locked in but for sure. When they kind of performing... You got a motherfucking, if it's one person in the crowd, you got to act like the stage, the, the motherfucking house still packed. Because mm-hmm. that one person might just be the one person. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So exactly. you got to still rock that bitch like it's 50,000 people in the motherfucker. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I done been there. I done been in them stages on them crowds with them little shows. There's yeah. two people in there. Uh, I've, two I've, might, I've, one of them might I've, be my I've family. I've had a few. I've had <laughs> a few. So I get it. Yeah. I'm still there, so I ain't going to say I ain't there no I've more. I've had but, a few. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Where I didn't perform and like nigga, it was me and my entourage. Yeah, <laughs> but you doing it for the you growing yeah. though. That's your practice. It's your it's your training that's, camp. And that's you know I mean? that that word right there is a lot of shit that a lot of niggas. That's what separates niggas. Like mm-hmm. you see the locks, these niggas they still like have rehearsals and shit. Right. Nah, you can't ever get too good to try. <laughs> Like, I can guarantee 98% of, like, rappers now don't rehearse shit. Mm-hmm. That 2% is the 2%. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But like, when it comes to performing and shit, though, but... I do fall myself. I'm not too good on rehearsals, but, like, no, they do If the you fuck full. around in the mirror, yeah, and, okay, and okay, like, yeah, you yeah, do yeah, that, yeah. and, like, but you really pre play right, right, that's right. the same as rehearsing. For sure. Yeah. Every show I'm doing that. Every show. Yeah. But I know they be having them sets. They be like, okay, this is the 30 minutes. Let's get the full. Oh, yeah. Down. I ain't <laughs> they there doing yet. the whole concert yeah. and the shit. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I want to get there. I ain't there yet because it's just me. You feel me? Yeah. So I'm like, where I'm going to be at? I, so, but nah, for sure, you got to make sure you got your lines right. Like, before the show, I was in the, we was at the family reunion. I'm, everything yeah. going around me. I got yeah. headphones in. I'm trying to, like, make sure <laughs> trying I'm to locked get your, in. Yeah. I'm cool. So you for sure got to make sure you straight every yeah. time. That's the one thing about this artistic life. Like, you. Work never stops, mm-hmm. even when you're not working, because you never know when some shit going to hit you. Exactly. Or, like, you know what I'm saying? So you exactly. you, you got to keep your shit sharp. And I, I like that. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I, I like that. That's definitely um, that's definitely a, a a beautiful thing to do. Keep doing that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, Most definitely. regardless, you being the motherfucking Turks and Caicos, take yeah. the headphones with you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Keep Stay the laptop. Keep the laptop with you. I done took 100 <laughs> vacations where I got my laptop. I got my something. I'm writing if I feel something. It's right there. If I can't record, it's right there when I get back home. That's it. Every time. Hell yeah. So, um, the discreet mixes. You bringing them back soon? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I shit. I didn't forgot about those. I really had those every week type <laughs> shit on SoundCloud. I hella forgot about those. Yeah. So, what made you decide to start doing them? Like. Like man, these niggas ain't fucking. Let me let me show that niggas. Maybe not even that niggas ain't fucking with me, but let me show that like I'm I'm on the same level with these motherfuckers. So I'm gonna I take their beat and. I feel like Wayne were for a minute. I want to get in my way back. Yeah. And really show niggas like your beats. So I ain't want to throw that out there, easy, but yeah, you feel me? nah. But I thought about. Give me this. your shit. Yeah, you give me your me? shit. I wanted to do what I thought was gonna bring attention, yeah. if anything, because I'm like, okay, these songs, these songs is popping. Mm-hmm. Me? They buzzing, they getting trending topics, they tagging them, yeah. hashtag and shit. Like I'm thinking, okay, so if I'm, 
if I'm tailing this song, what yeah. it's gonna do for me, you know? But I did it a lot of them. I ain't gonna lie to you. And one of them, I will say, stood out. Mind you, this is years back. I didn't even know my sound yet, so yeah. I'm really just trying anything. And that's a that's a good way to figure that shit out. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because, sure. like, when you start doing that and you catch yourself in your bag mm -hmm. on this particular Sonic more, you like, all right, let me keep fucking with this and yeah. see what's going on. That did happen. It happened a few times, actually. Um, but I had an artist. Uh, it, was a song, it was a Wale song. I forgot the name of the song mm -hmm. right now, but it was a Wale song. I had did it, posted it, and motherfucking his engineer, his personal engineer at mm -hmm. the time, he... Seeing the shit, like the shit, commenting on the shit. I'm like, ooh, like it. Yeah. I'm thinking, okay, nigga, this might be it. This might yeah. be something that really, you feel me? But it didn't. But it's cool though, cause that's still yeah. a look. That's still showing yeah. me. The progress. fact that somebody saw you and and even you was on their mind. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and took time out of their day, even if it's two seconds. They took time. Right. Cause they could have just been like, oh, this shit fire. Like, right. Kept scrolling. Right. So. And it it reached, it reached the fucking circle I was trying to reach. Yes. Yeah. The yeah. artist I, himself engineer, so I'm like, okay, right. that's, we getting somewhere. So, but uh, I stopped doing them. I stopped doing them for a while. Yeah. I don't really, not, I stopped posting it's cause, them. It's because a lot of niggas' beats ain't ain't what they used that to be. Too. <laughs> that too. That too. That too. That too. And I also got it, I, I start focusing more on my shit. Yeah. Because like, okay, I can keep riding these other shit, or I can, I can home on my sound. You yeah. Because I mean? a lot of those songs I really was trying to mimic, mimic, but build off of and make better. Yeah, shit. yeah. So I'm like, nah, I really start focusing on my shit and just, would I bring them back? Most definitely. Like, yeah. I still do remixes today. Like I said, I stopped posting them on SoundCloud yeah, yeah. and shit. Like, I just straight Instagram shit. Like, I'll, I'll go do a little shit and leave it there, but I don't know. Yeah. I might build it more. So, I mean, I might have I might have sparked something, so. I might build you know. it more. Sure. <laughs> Keep it rocking. All right. So you had the, um, so at the prison show, right? Yeah. Like, did them niggas pull out their phones and start recording? Nah, you ain't pull. They <laughs> for sure didn't pull Cause I no phones Because I know niggas. <laughs> but. No, nah, I be saying, yo, I had to ask, yo, because the niggas in jail, they be on Facebook, on live with puppies and shit. Niggas have Niggas be having Chick-fil-A. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Niggas yeah, have like everything in prison, bro. It's, but, nah, they didn't pull phones out. They told me I couldn't have my phone even in the even in the vicinity, they said leave my yeah, shit. Yeah, you had in the to car, leave it in the whip. Nah, I have my shit in the pipe. They said, oh yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Niggas didn't want nobody. They didn't pat nobody. We yeah. walking straight in. The, I could have had anything on. Could have been a whole traffic. This shit be like this rap shit could have been a front. They you feel yeah. me? Like anything could have been. And bro, in there told me, uh, yeah, hella niggas start asking me for my Instagram and shit. So I'm like, I'm like, where is you niggas gonna? What is y'all gonna do with this? <laughs> but I'm, I'm not gonna be that now. I'm, I'm writing on every bag. Every you start shirt. looking at them new followers. You seeing niggas in, in so jumpsuits. I'm, I'm cool like, yo, what the fuck? Like, All right, cool. Yeah, I, I'm <laughs> fucking with it because I'm feeling like him right now. Yeah, me? I'm getting niggas asking for damn near autographs and shit. Nigga told me, uh, write on this shirt my name and shit. My pen and shit horrible. Yeah. So I'm like, my fault. I saw like that. Hell no, nah, you know, like, this is me. I know when I see this, I'm gonna know this was that nigga that was that. So shit like that is humbling. Like, yeah, I'm yeah, that hell yeah. Sure. Um, but yeah, it got crazy because niggas asked me for my shoes and shit. Niggas like, I got 1200 for your shoes right now. <laughs> and in my head, I'm like, nigga, you ain't got no 1200. Nigga say he'd cash out me, but I'm like, bro. I'm not finna just hand you my shoes and wait for a notification. Yeah, bro, because you can't go back in the gym and go get that I'm nigga. I'm talking, talking to nigga at the front like, hey, bro, I gotta go get my shoes. This nigga, somebody took your shoes. They yeah. go. No. Like, he ain't gonna let me in for that. You can't, you can never go back home and tell niggas you went to jail, nigga, took your shoes. <laughs> not like, exactly. And that's what, that was another thing, bro, because when he said I got 1200 for your shoes, the first thing I said to bro, I'm like, bro, I can't walk out here barefoot. Yeah, like, I'm like, hey, I can't crazy. walk out here with no shoes on, but. As we left, got a little settled afterward. Niggas like, bro, you should have told him take these shoes. Twelve hundred. I'm yeah. hella man. I didn't because I was for sure to walk out. No socks if it was necessary. And there probably was some shoes you really ain't probably nah, give a fuck about. Some like bread, that. some elevens. Like they cool, but oh, yeah. twelve hundred. You could take these. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. Feel me? Like I would have. Them took shits that gonna drop here. again in about two more years exactly. or something like 300. that. Three <laughs> hundred. get these shoes off my feet, bro. I'm hella man. I didn't though. Yeah. I mean, you have fucking security there. Yeah. He gonna fight the whole fucking jail. So I, I mean, my other cousin's little. Yeah, he's smaller. But he's stocky too. Yeah. <laughs> I had the whole mile if I need it. See, yeah, man, that shit is uh, no, nah, that's dope though. I had to ask. I had to run it back to ask that because nah, mean, for sure. I, nah, it was. It was that shit is funny to me, yo. Because like I said, I be I be on the timeline. I be seeing like the jail niggas. They be having. Them niggas be having everything in there. Everything. Like is these niggas in a From pool? What the fuck to is Xboxes going on? to. I see one nigga in there with a grill. 
Yeah, so they be uh, having nigga, yo. They be having some they be shit. They iced out than you, nigga. They had the pinky rings and shit. And, and crazy, it's crazy because like it yeah. ain't even like you telling like saying because they be on live. That's what I'm saying. It don't even. It ain't even like they got it and like they hiding it, so you shouldn't talk about exactly. it. Like these niggas be on live and shit. Having a time of their life. It's a nigga night. right now. Putting the CO in the head. Hey, come here, nigga. Yeah. Hey, tell him we good, nigga. Tell him we like good. Niggas be in there. It's hard though. This nigga's on there. This nigga named uh, Email on there. He a rapper, bro. He go uh-huh. crazy. He be on his lives. He really go crazy. So it's really niggas in there. Like, keep, let them keep their phone. Them yeah. niggas need they shit. Because we need that shit. Like, <laughs> easy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot of them. Clean as hell. And be fire. Fire. Like, them niggas keep they phones. If some nigga come from the side singing and shit, you like, man, what the fuck? Oh, I'm like, like hold on. <laughs> like, get these, get these niggas out right quick, bro. Niggas got a whole shit, though. So, yeah, man. Um, Cali's, Cali's doing it big right now in the music scene. For sure. On both LA and the Bay. For like, sure. That, that Bay life is different, though, man. Mm-hmm. Like, y'all party. So, like, y'all party out there. Like, even the gangster niggas, it, like, Niggas ain't too gangster to dance. It's a gangster party. No, I'm saying California, niggas. LA, they got their whole situation. The Bay, we turned up. It's high. Yeah, because like LA is more like laid, like they laid back. Yeah. Y'all more like. Yeah. You know what I mean? We gonna party. We gonna, but we'll slap the shit out of you too. It's like if you get out of line. Cool. <laughs> so it's like it's yeah. the Bay is what it is. That's for sure. But nah, I love California living. Everything about it. I probably I'll never. I'll go visit. I will go yeah. sit somewhere for a minute, but I'll probably never leave. Just yeah. It's home to me. Like, family yeah. and all, yeah, but the city, the towns, the, the state is home to me. You just like, know it. It's just, we, your soul is there. Exactly. Like, that's what you know. Exactly. So, nah, some people feel that way, though. And then, you know, but then sometimes you, different shit happens, mm-hmm. different experiences. Mm-hmm. You might fuck around, visit Miami, like, yo, that mansion is nice and I can afford it. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and just. <laughs> Easy. I'm going to go ahead and just Easy. move the family out here. And it'd be a lot of opportunities outside of your vicinity. Like yeah. like I said, California is the home, but Los Angeles, Hollywood, that's the entertainment. That's where you yeah. want to be at. But you might fuck around and go to uh, it's North Carolina. You might go to somewhere in Delaware. And you yeah. go in the right city, you do the right thing, and boom, you famous as fuck yeah. right there. Timing so is So you want to sit, you want to build, you want to do everything. everything out there. So it's a lot of things you should I definitely say. Like I said, I'll never leave, but yeah. I'll go sit somewhere easily. Yeah, yeah. Get out of my section and go so. grow somewhere. And that's the thing, though. And then moving around is always good because, like, sure. you getting your, you getting your, your your shit out to different people, different right. markets. Like, you right. not, you know, so. But no, I, I feel that though. Like a lot of people, a lot of people feel that way. Like, mm-hmm. like, a home is home. Fuck, I need to go somewhere for. Right. But I don't know, man. You, it's the, if it ain't working for you, for sure, don't sit though. Yeah, no, nah, don't hell sit nah. stagnant. That's one thing I will say. If it ain't working for you, please. And that's what a lot of people. Move. So, like, a lot of people do that. Like. They they be home, mm-hmm. shit don't pop, and it don't be because they might it might not be nothing to do with them. Right, they just moving wrong at home. Right, you know what sure. I'm saying so because I know a lot of people that leave home, take off. Exactly, you know what I'm saying like because exactly. you, I the more you realize that it's it's not really what you know, it's who you know For or sure. who you meet. You know what I'm sure. saying so like everybody had to get put on by somebody. Mm-hmm. Like only a very select few niggas put themselves on. Right. And even when they put themselves on, they had to at still network with somebody to elevate That's higher. Serious. So it's mandatory for sure. So yeah, I did. I tried that for sure. Like I, Cali, I was there. I was in uh, Fairfield for so mm-hmm. long. Like maybe kids up to what I think I was 19, 20 when I decided I'm gonna uh, try LA. Yeah. So I moved out there for a year. I tried to do the thing. I was young. I was like I said, I was only 20. So yeah, being 20. I mean, under 21 is literally, there's not so much you can do under 21. Yeah. Feel me? So I couldn't go to no club. Like, it was a little. Can't hit uh, the dispensary. You can't you do feel shit. Feel me? Like, nothing, <laughs> like, I couldn't network out there. Yeah. I, I felt like. Yeah. I'm not going to say that because I was probably wrong as fuck. I probably yeah. just take the extra steps. But I felt like I was too young to go really out and, you know, meet people and do shit. Yeah. But, um, and then I ended up coming back to Sacramento and shit. But I for sure will go back to LA. I really feel like being where I'm at right now. <laughs> Is so fuck it is it's stagnant time. Like I'm really stagnant. So yeah. I wanna move so badly, but I'm like, I gotta ground myself first. Yeah. You know I mean, like I just have my son, I gotta ground myself, get my shit right, and then we could venture. We could go yeah. find what we need. But But I mean, so like it's it's a lot going on in Sac Sac Town. I mean for, I'm an East Coast nigga looking yeah. at it though. So of course you out there, so I don't know, but like I know Mozzie, like certain niggas is like blowing up in the mm-hmm. city, like, you know what I'm saying? So 
you would think that, you know, more talent scouts and shit would be out there looking for shit, but it's like, it's pretty much like we got Mizey, we good. Nah. Like, niggas ain't coming out there to... But the thing about it is, nigga, it is... I'm going to say this. It's it's a not even just Sacramento. The Bay Area, the whole yeah. North California, all of that shit. Like, there's not a... To me, there's no yeah. talent scout. There's no nigga yeah. looking for niggas nobody. Ain't, like, you got to pretty much already be there you for them to even come look at you. You got to do on your own. It's a lot of... But it is, too, a lot of... I don't fuck with them. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I was finna say too. Exactly, bro. It's like we can fuck with them and we all could be on. Yeah. Or like you might I might have a connection to somebody bigger, but it's like, hey, I don't fuck with them, so we not we not Yeah. You know. That be the fucked up part about it. And that's why I really feel like Or a nigga got the connect and he like, yo, I wanna be I wanna be part of your shit though. Uh Uh-huh. Like I now I give you a percentage. Now I want a percentage. I wanna be part of your shit. Yeah. Like uh, (laughs) who's trying to Trying his hardest, he, uh, the, the, empire, the empire owner. Got yeah. It. Okay. He's trying his hardest right now. Yeah, that's he, what I say. That he one. Did it, he did it with, with some niggas in, uh, yeah. in the city. That's why I sure. say like we we hear it's, a lot of shit from the bay, but yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. like I said, this East Coast looking in, so I can only go by what I see. I'm not out there every right, day, right, so right. you know. Now I look beautiful for sure. The yeah. scene, the it looked beautiful. It, like niggas is getting on every which way, and everybody doing what. Nah, it ain't really like that. Though. Yeah. Like that's a lot of. You see that in Atlanta. Niggas is, yeah. I got you, folk. I got you, folk. Yeah. You need this. I got you. You need th- I know him. We going to do all that yeah. shit. It's really a crowd buggy in the Bay, so I can't I really think, speak yo, to Yo, Atlanta much and about. maybe Texas might be the only two places that, like, niggas, niggas is doing that. Intentionally. Yeah, because that's. Other places, niggas start doing that after you already start oh, blowing up. You start bubbling, yeah. and then niggas like, oh, yeah, no, nah, let's push them. But that's Atlanta, like. want to see. Niggas. Don't you can make money together, bro? Like, yeah, nigga, you go get me this, I go get it back and bring you twice what yeah. you. Like, nigga, it's you could think about it yeah. any which way you want, but nah, only way you could see it more times than none is, but if I feed you, I can't eat. Yeah. Nigga, if I show you who cooking, I can't eat. Like, yeah. no, bro, it's we can go fucking around and split a meal and make an entree at the That's end of it. the day. Like, it's it's but niggas don't think that way. Nah, it's man. So like, so you can come up to a nigga right now and tell him like, yo. I got this play to get you a hundred thousand mm-hmm. dollars, and you can get him that hundred thousand that you promised, and he gonna be happy until he find out you might have got five hundred. Thank you, but no reason, my nigga. You in, until you find out. Number one, it was my play, nigga, but I got I got you I got you a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, but since I got five, like you now, shit ain't right. So now niggas looking at you sideways, but it's like they had I didn't, I ain't fuck you over to get the five. Exactly, I ain't cut you like I ain't do no grimy shit to you or nothing. It's just like you did your contribution and you got the hundred thousand. Like nah, but some niggas like they don't understand. Like I'm the nigga. I'm gonna take the hundred. I'm gonna take the hundred bands. Easy. You make five, nigga. That's Easy. what's up. I'm proud of you. I'm nigga. I'm happy. Next time he, cause now next time I might make the five. Exactly. He shit. might make an M, but shit, I just made five hundred bands. Easy, you know what I'm saying? So that's why it's supposed to. People don't look at you know people don't look at networking that way. They feel at like, all. damn. So that's six hundred. I should have got his five too. Yeah. I should have exactly. got six hundred all together. Like checking the next person's pocket. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, in every aspect for sure. Nah, yeah, nah. Pocket you. watching is definitely dangerous. For I, sure. Like niggas who watch your pocket, and the fucked up thing is sometimes you don't know because they might not even say no shit that. Cause know niggas what I'm plot real, yeah. real good. Like niggas will be in they bag for so long. Like that nigga with Dirk said in the song, "I could be with you for days, and I'd be the nigga to snake you." Like yeah. you don't know, bro, because niggas that'd be their game plan. They scheming niggas from see you day one. On, like, and it, yeah. and, and instead of riding away for a little bit. You about to make these, this nigga a millionaire mm-hmm. now, he, but he trying to snake you, like bro. And in your mind, you trying to make sure that he's good. Like, it, but like you ain't thinking no Grammy shit about this nigga. But it'd be a it's blessing just in to certain get seen people. though, because yeah. if a nigga do that and you was yeah. like the day after, bro, I had a million on you, million right next to the, the yeah. nightstand for you, bro. But you just did this. I'm like, talking about million again, bro. Like, like I just signed the biggest kind. I'm about to get this nigga a million dollars yeah, tomorrow. He ain't even know it. Me I was today, to so it's like, by, bro. Yeah, you feel me? Then you. Yeah. Surprise, so, nigga. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man. God don't make mistakes. At all. <laughs> oh. Know what I mean? I, I always say when the snake show his face, believe it. Mm-hmm. That's it. Like, I don't, I'm not really too big in, like, second, third chances. I mean, depending on what it is. You know, right. it's levels to it. But if you, like, snake me, you cross me, I can't fuck with you. Only because that shit has never crossed my mind to do to nobody. Right. I've... It's, 
No human on this planet can say I snaked them. Right. Or I did some grimy shit. Or I stole from them. Or I lied on them. Or any of that kind of shit. Because to me, character is everything. Everything. You know what I'm saying? And I always want my name and my character to precede my physical. Right. So when I walk in the room and I'm talking to somebody, they're like, oh, oh, you're Ja. Mm-hmm. Boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? So. That embrace. You want yeah. to embrace, not be like, just that nigga Ja. You feel like yeah, it's a that's big it. ass difference, Like, oh, bro. shit, you're Ja. Like, and big I I, pr- I prefer that because I, I'd rather my name be bigger than my face. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't need to be known here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like. You know my name, and you know you see what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. I'm, that's cool with me. I hear you for <laughs> sure. Yeah. 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 For a long time, I didn't. I know Empire. Yeah, I know Empire. <laughs> Empire put a lot of niggas on, but who doing that? Yeah. Ball head nigga, cool ass nigga. That look cool too. You feel me? Like yeah. that shit crazy though. Yeah, but it should be like that, man. Yeah. Um. Damn. Damn. Fatherhood, man. Yes. New experience. How how, how does that shit treat you? Uh, it's a beautiful, humbling experience. <laughs> I'm going to say humbling with emphasis because it's a very humbling experience. Yeah, because your dad, like, to this baby, you dad. like For sure, like. You ain't a performer. You're not a rapper. You're not an artist of any sort. You're not an I actor. I can't fuck up. I you can't dad, fuck up. You dad, nigga. Like, you you gotta... feel me? That's it. At the end of the day, I'm... I'm yeah. Cause I remember, no, so like I can't. Yeah, I was I was doing a lot of wild shit before I had my son. Yeah, like my last two years before him was spiraling, and I ain't yeah. gonna sugarcoat it. It was spiraling, so it it humbled me. It yeah. slowed me down a whole lot. Cause nigga, it was, that was that's his purpose. That was his purpose at the time. Yeah, I thought I'll, I'll I'm gonna for surely I'm gonna accumulate that to that. Cause yeah. for sure he he did a lot for me. Yeah, nigga, it was ain't no telling which way it could have went if. Exactly. If you would have kept going the way it was going. If exactly, he, it wasn't know. doing nothing good for me. But now nah, it's been a, it's been great. I love I love, I love my yeah. son for sure. So now nah, you be glowing, man. I be saying you know, you be glowing, holding them and shit like that's yeah. that's dope, man. Like I be having a time of my life with my son. Yeah. Somebody had told me uh, I was on the phone. They were, I had my son chilling. They were like, "You just look so happy, smiling yeah. at your son." And I didn't even know it. I was just <laughs> vibing with my kids. So nah, it's a, it's a beautiful thing for sure. Nah, man, it is, man. Fatherhood is amazing. Um, mm-hmm. And it's just, kids is just dope, like mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, because they they knew everything is new to them, so they experience the shit for the first time. I should have been the same with you, yeah. Growing up with it, and yeah, yeah, man. And then you know, mine won, so this shit is still. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But I had my nieces and nephews. I was very, so very you, active in their life. I so you. I kind of, you. you know what I'm saying? But it's still. It's different when it's yours. Yeah. My little son, yo, he's different, though. That little nigga's crazy. Right. <laughs> like, and he, I think he, he be doing that shit on purpose. He active as shit. That's <laughs> what my son. He go crazy. Yeah, he active as hell. But what, it's he do a lot today, but I was so, like, a little concerned because when he first came, the first few months was – he was very straight faced, no emotion. Like I was scared because I'm like, damn, is he gonna be cool? This nigga like, gonna be mean as a bitch. That or yeah. just so to himself. Like yeah. I don't want you to be so hella shut off and introverted and shit. But yeah. some change. He yeah. off the walls. He a he rowdy, <laughs> rowdy as hell. I don't know what did it. I'm happy though because I love my animated ass nigga. But yeah. he rowdy. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, he was ice grilling the shit out of me earlier. You caught it too. Yeah. I looked up. <laughs> this nigga was like. <laughs> now, now, mind you, I don't know how long he's been staring at me at this point. I just happened to look up. It was like. <laughs> so I'm trying, yeah, baby. So I'm like, yo, what's up, man? He's <laughs> it like, like, damn, what I did. I look man. like I'm in a joking mood right, right. now. Right. <laughs> he able to check you real quick. For sure, nah. Nah, but it's dope though. Just like, watching them grow and seeing like when they start learning new shit, and you catch that they learning new shit and starting to say little words and shit. And, that's what I can't wait for. Before yeah. Start talking. Everybody nah, you can wait. Talking, like you can wait because they, they don't sweat. shut up. That's what they don't shut be up. Saying, though. <laughs> they be saying I'm gonna miss the whole of them, the cuddle, yeah. the, the, all that nah, shit. Nah, so I'm not gonna lie. So in the moment, I was ready for him to get where he is now. Yeah. Now I wish he was. That was. I'm yeah. Now I'm re- I, I wish he was six months. What's again. the reason though? No, oh, because when they no once they get mobile, all that cuddling shit is done. They don't want you to hold them no more. They want right. to get down, run around, and play. Right, right, right. All that. I can. Only that. time they gonna want you to hold them is when they like in a bad mood right. or they sleepy, sleepy or some some shit like that. Outside of that, that, it's like nigga, get the fuck off me. I don't want to be held. I want to run around this shit 
go go in these cabinets, grab the pot. <laughs> It's yeah, like, once they once they start learning and figuring out how to do shit. Yeah. Good luck. I get it. Your phone, if you can't find your phone, check the trash. <laughs> yeah. Check the toy box. Yeah. Check the toy box. Check the toilet and check the trash can. I'm not there yet to experience, so I can't say I I don't you wrong, but I get yeah. it. I mean I'm I'm prepared. I ain't gonna say prepared for I'm just ready. You know? Yeah. How old is he now? Ten months, right? About to be ten months in a few days. That so shit I'm, is, I'm ready for it. Think about this, bro. Two days. Two, Two months. He's mm-hmm. gonna be a year old. Mm-hmm. After that, that's when everything you talking about walking, words, getting in the shit, taking the lid off the baby powder, dumping that shit on while you sleep. See, no, I don't want none of that. All right, I see all that <laughs> shit. No, I that ain't what I'm prepared for or even anticipating. I'm just like, let's go play. Like, yeah. you know, I want to walk. I'm gonna give you the cheat code. Night. When they too quiet, something ain't right. Yeah, check on them. Okay. That because ain't. Babies ain't that peaceful. Right. Tyler's ain't that peaceful. So when My he get- son is, a, like I just said, he hectic as hell. So I'm already knowing if he yeah. quiet, he in some shit. Because when <laughs> them niggas had him, my, my sister, my my whoever was in there had him in the <laughs> bed. Said, keep me out of there. I had left some uh, some cookies or whatever on the uh, bed and I had left out. They said the whole time, yo, they're just eating quiet. They thinking he have a snacks, but eating chocolate, all making a mess <laughs> and shit. Quiet as hell, supposedly. So I'm like, yeah, I'm already knowing. So they- Psychologically, they gonna be quiet because they know if they make the noise, you coming over there to <laughs> fuck with them. So they think you they like hot, and then they trying to be quiet so they don't get caught. Nah, I got it. But when I shit too quiet, break. when shit is like, when shit is just too comfortable, we ain't heard nothing in a minute. Where is, where you at? <laughs> you know, no, but, and then well. sometimes you like, especially when they get to a certain age, like once he get to climbing up on shit and all that, like you might think he was taking a nap. Cause they gonna be quiet when they sleep. You might go in the other room. You gonna come back in the room. He done got them flipped the mat. He, the whole room upside down. Right. All the clothes out the bottom drawers. Cause he can't reach the top when yeah. <laughs> well, he done took all the clothes out. Nah, for sure. All kind of shit. So, but yeah, man. Let's get back to the music though. But yeah, nah. Fucking um, fatherhood's a beautiful thing, man. I'm Cherish definitely. that shit. Cherish it. Definitely. Uh, so your creative process. So when when you do your your creation, when you get the music, like. What is your creative process? It's, it's different each time. Yeah. I ain't going to say that. To so like, you don't have like a ritual? Nah. It's just however shit hits you? you yeah, okay. it's been a little, uh, a, a little uneven lately. Like okay. I, I need to get back to what I'm best at or what I'm most comfortable with. But yeah. I'm, uh, traditionally, it's just like if I'm in a, I'm in a zone or whatever, like mm-hmm. I, I record everything at the house. So if I'm not home, it's a little like... yeah. It's hard to get what I'm feeling out, but yeah, if I'm chilling at home or whatever, or if I want to go work on something, then I'm, I'm gonna just go lock in. You feel me? Yeah. Go sit down and for a little bit, um, because I rarely have a beat beforehand. Mm-hmm. Like if I'm just in the mood, I want to go make something. I'm gonna sit down and go find a beat. Yeah, like I get on YouTube or whatever, or I have hella um, producer packs into mm-hmm. me, so I'll probably sift through those. Um, but it's really just finding the vibe. Like I might be in a mood where I'm like, okay, this is the type of shit I want to do right now. Uh, but more times than none, I just nah, I just want to go create. So I go yeah, probably yeah. listen to some, some. I got a, I got a specific sound I go for on a mm-hmm. daily, on a regular. So it's like some chilled, kind of like emotional beat. But it's like yeah, you yeah. could go in any which way on it. Yeah. So I probably go immediately into that pocket first. But if I'm like, nah, I ain't feeling like it. Like if so much time go by where ain't nothing yeah. caught me, I'll be like, okay, let me let me switch it up. Now I go listen to some upbeat shit, some yeah, some, motherfucking dance catchy, shit, yeah. some island shit, some whatever. So. <laughs> It's really depending on where it go after it start. Yeah. It ain't never no destination. It's just I want to get started. Where we gonna end up? We gonna find out. Yeah. So it'd be cool though, cause like I said, I just be I punch in or I write too though. I don't only punch in. Like if I'm feeling something, I'm like, oh, I really want to make this shit hit. I'm yeah. gonna write down whatever, and then I'll probably punch in, build gotcha. off that, or you know, keep it going. But yeah, yeah, I don't know. I like the hot whatever yeah. comes. So do you do your shit like Easy E, like all punches, or do you punch it, punch it, punch it? And um, then you memorize it and then go re-record it? Nah, or it I just depends right on how it sounds? It, okay. It, well, I guess the, a little bit of both. Yeah. You said depend on how it sounds. Because more times than if I'm, I'm feeling or not, I've been in the woo 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 I like that I hear it. If I like that, yeah. I'm going to redo it, though. Because first, unless it's cool on the first take, but I'm yeah. going to redo perfect. I'm going to perfect that one. And then I, okay, what can I do with that? Boom. Yeah. Punch that in. Boom. Punch that in. And then I just keep going like that. If it don't need no edits, straight through, whatever punch. Like yeah. It could be 
four, I do a bar. I could do four bars if I got that all in my head. I do yeah. that four bar punch in. Boom, another two. Boom, another one. But yeah, it's all of whatever flow, really. All right. And you mix yourself? Yeah. You taught yourself or you got with the engineer and I learned? taught myself. I taught. That shit frustrating. It was. <laughs> now it's more so. <laughs> that shit is frustrating and shit. It is, but it's it's. <laughs> It, it helps you. You ain't got to pay yeah. nobody once you learn, bro. Yeah, no, Paying for sure. Is expensive. For sure. That's really why I do everything myself. I ain't even going to say yeah. I just want to learn how to do all this shit so I ain't got to rely on no niggas. No, niggas is expensive. Yeah, and I definitely. ain't trying to pay you niggas. Definitely. So when you learn it, bro, it, like I'm, yeah. I'm seven, eight it, years of It ain't mixing. that you don't want niggas to get paid. It's just like, nigga, I need I'm, blocks every time. Feel me? Like, and I ain't just got, no, you know. I ain't got bread to spend. Because I record a lot. Yeah. You feel me? So I ain't got a lot. I got a lot of tracks. If I got to get all these mixed bars, my yeah. playlist right And then now. some people need to be, like, in the studio to see what they yeah. vibe is. Like, sometimes you can't just shit. lay on the couch and just come up with the vibe. You got to be in there ready to create to do what you got to do. That's what I'm here, saying. So. so, it ain't, nah, I don't know. But I, I love studios, though. Yeah. Like, all that still don't ever take away from a studio. Like, I, yeah. if I got it, bro, like, if I, we can go lock in and get some time, man. If I got the money to spend on a regular, oh, yeah. that's definitely easy. Like I wanted to, I was out here, but it's it's I love being in the studio, bro. If I could yeah. go to a studio every day, I promise you I would. Yeah. I promise I would. So shit. I mean, that's some you a studio rat. Yeah. Like a gym rat. Like yeah. something. I mean, look, I ain't mean rat that way. I look like nah, I said rat, nigga. Hold on. What nigga I ain't going to do? <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm fucking with you, I'm fucking with you. Nah, it's but nah, it's, yeah, but like some people really like that though. Like, uh so when you in there, like, do you like like an entourage, or you just you and the engineer? Uh, I prefer me and the engineer. Yeah, I'm the same like, way. When I first started, most definitely, because I, I was hella insecure about my craft when I first started. So yeah. I would really, like, I was the type of nigga where, like, if I'm in a booth, I get nervous to record because I got yeah. motherfuckers sitting there. They're going to listen, what they're going to think, what they're going to say. I got to yeah. make sure I say this. And you like, you constructed it. You ain't even yeah, you ain't ain't built finished yet. product like, yet. I'm trying to see what this. Co- <laughs> I might fuck around. My voice might crack. Like, damn, I got a female in there. She might yeah. look at me like I'm crazy. Like, so <laughs> I really only wanted myself for so long because this is I want to build. Let me grow yeah. right quick. You feel me? Like, for sure. Behind closed doors, let me grow. And then today, though, I really could care less. Like, I even at my because I got my shit at the crib, like I said. But yeah. I have somebody come over, whatever, chill with me while I'm recording. Um, they don't really be nothing no more. Like, yeah. I might still be a little self conscious at the moment. Like, but yeah. once I get started. It is it's business. Like yeah. you, you tunnel vision. Like, like they, they not even input. in there no more. Right. Until like, you, I'll take some yeah. input if needed. Yeah, I'll be like, well, that sounds cool. Like, but I'm not gonna feel like, damn, should I say this? I'm yeah, shy. Definitely. Let me stop. You feel me? Like, I ain't never gonna feel like that no more. Yeah, definitely. nah, that's what's up. So yeah, man. Um, before we get out of here, tell them where to find you, and then we gonna take this motherfucking shot. You don't have a choice. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> Uh, shit, my Instagram is on my platform. I really only be on Instagram, um, YouTube, basically. Uh, it's always space or underscore discreet. It's uh, A-L-W-A-Y-S underscore D-I-S-C-R-E-T-E. Uh, I really only be on Instagram. I might start getting on other shit. TikTok, too, but I don't really know how to use that shit. So yeah. you can find me on there the same app, but I don't really People blowing up off that shit, though. I know, bro, crazy. I don't know how to. <laughs> that <laughs> so, shit's crazy. But yeah, that's all my thing. I did it. I did a TikTok or two. Yeah. Not no dance shit though. I ain't do. I ain't do, I ain't do no. I ain't do none of that shit. Nah, for sure. Doing, I was trying to act. I was trying to act. I was doing the act like reenacting scenes and shit right, like right, that. Right, right, right. Mean, nah, I be only on posting my shit on there, which I feel like I need to do more. Maybe if that. Maybe yeah. if I start doing what the trends is like, not all of yeah. Weird but shit, but like that's why trends shit. are trends though. Like if you think about every trend that happened, whether it be fine or we got the same like Twitter. How much you got up in there? I might got a little less than you. Huh? I ain't shortchanging. I ain't shortchanging. Cool, 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 cool. Shit's moved though. It is. <laughs> I'm used to tequilas, but it is. <laughs> nah, that's cool. So yeah, I mean, uh, the TikTok shit is, is, I don't know how to blow up on it because, you know what I'm saying, I got like 50 followers on that motherfucker, so, yeah, but I don't be hard. on it either though. Right, right, Cause right. that, like, I be, cause you'll lose so much of your day because that shit is scrolling, too much entertainment up there. Scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. I can't believe that shit is free. You scrolling for like an hour. That shit is crazy. And you don't even realize an hour just passed. I be at work. I be at work. I work with kids. <laughs> <laughs> I be forgetting about the kids sometimes. I just be scrolling. Oh, shit. Laughing. Yeah, that shit. 
That shit is definitely I I can't because you'll lose a lot of time. You don't even realize that you lost that much. Exactly. Well, yeah. yeah for me. But yeah, man, let's get this flick. Most deaf. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully we get you back on the East. Shit, Hopefully it don't take right. another goddamn 32 years uh, for you to yeah. come back. <laughs> if the time is right, we can yeah. make it happen. I need so, to. I like it. I'll man. be out West, though. Y'all take care of me when I come out there. Most definitely. Come out I'm coming out West. Most I'm com- I'm going to be with this big ass nigga. Yeah. So I, <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I do got a little, uh, like a little pool following out there. And stuff, okay. So. So yeah, yeah. Straight. so yeah, yeah, yeah. I I pull up. I, I be, probably within the next couple months, I pull be, up out the bay. We we'll, right? we'll do part pool. two of this in your town. Yeah, yeah. Come on. fuck it. Party. Yeah, pool party. Yeah, yeah. as long as they like fat niggas at the pool party, because I don't wear my shirt. I'm I'm out there. I'm out there. I'm out there. You straight. I'll show you a little video. My nigga is a promoter out there. He's kind of big. Yeah. Oh yeah. He fucked with it a lot. Uh, he got a, his birthday August twelfth. He got a big ass pool party August twelfth. Oh yeah, that's what's up. Gonna be out there. Man, right. We had to do that. But yeah, we out.